Hello. So if there's two things that I sure do love, it's uh, spooky, terrifying things and pie. So when I saw a photo uh, last week online of this horrifying pie that brought two of my greatest loves together, naturally, I fell in love. Now granted, I do not know how to bake and I could not find a recipe for this anywhere and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna try to make it anyways. Let's go. So I went to the grocery store earlier and I bought $84 worth of supplies. And I know what you're thinking, that seems like too much for a pie. I was thinking the same thing when I got to check out. I was horrified, but here's what happened. I was in the grocery store and I was trying to look for a recipe online on my on my phone. Uh, and then unfortunately, a uh, attractive guy gave me a bit of a judgmental look and then I got self-conscious. <laughs> so I gave up my mission to find a recipe and I got up and I just bought a, a, everything that I think that I would need in order to pull this off, which ended up probably being a little bit too much and maybe there will be some unnecessary things, but we'll, we'll put it all together good use somehow. What supplies did I get? You want to know? Well, I'll tell you. Flour for a crust or something. Marshmallows. <laughs> a little bit just for me, but also because I have an idea. I'll tell you, I'll tell you later. Uh, my favorite fruit, blackberries for a little bit of gore. Uh, food coloring, which I called coloring food when I was a kid and my siblings <laughs> made fun of me for that. You can call it either thing. It's not a big deal. Oh. <laughs> Organic cranberries for some mice that are living in my back shed, but also get so for this pizza crust that was just for um snacking in the car which is why it was open that sounded so good y'all ever eat raw uh pizza crust and pizza dough jellied cranberry sauce more gore marzipan i don't know what marzipan is but look at what look at what's on the cover a uh, more food coloring Hardware, a nut, gloves, nitrate gloves, a magnifying glass, canned country cherries, oil, I don't know, pepper spray, just in case, the, I, well this is just because I'm a little bit paranoid at night and I, I'm shooting at night and I can see a window right now and if a bad guy comes for me, he's getting maced. Oh, strawberries. <laughs> Pie tins, which is kind of useless because I also got this. No one makes the bottom of the pie crust. We'll do the top part, but that's a snooze. No one cares about that. Cause look, look the pie crust. Oh, and uh, brushes for brushing. <laughs> so yeah, I think, look, I, I think with all this stuff right here, we will be prepared. Um, and so first things first, I think let's just go ahead and, uh, um, ooh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I hate this already. I I'm getting self-conscious. Okay, no, that's not the attitude. We'll get we'll get this figured out. I maced myself on accident. <laughs> Stop! I'm just kidding, I did it. What am I doing? Oh, I did I tell you about the dagger? I got that too. Okay, first off, the pie base, which is what it is called. Right. I knew the dagger would come in handy. Dude, this is perfect. Whoa. Oh, that was nice tasting. Oh, but there's two, that's fun. What if we made two? No, I don't want to make two. Or what if we did though? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, so the pie base is done. But I'm doing pretty good so far. What next? Oh, before I move on. Okay, you see her back there. Okay. Okay, that's what I was saying. This, okay. Wait, no, you don't understand what's going on right now. Okay, so I was just going to say that I think that she might be haunted. I think that she might be haunted and right as I was saying that my camera fell over which it hasn't done that It's been up like this for 40 minutes and it just fell over. It was perfectly stable on a tripod. What's happening? Ah, I'm getting scared with her behind me oh. Next up is one of the most important parts of course the filling which is country berries <laughs> But also other berries and and uh, things that I've got we're really going for horrible here, so it has to feel like the inside of bodies. <laughs> oh no, I just had a horrible realization. I didn't get a can opener and I don't have one. I didn't get a can opener. You don't even need a can opener for anything. Dude, seriously, can openers are the big pharma industry ripping people off. Uh, uh, Betty Crocker does it. Oh, the one uh, con to that is that there could be shards of metal in it now. Uh-oh. 
Oh, wow, fantastic. All right, look at that. That's about exactly what Martha Stewart would do. You know what? I might have a can opener. Let me check. Where's my shoe? Ah! Oh my god, I do have a can opener. I got it from, uh... A woman! I play a lot of zombie video games, so I know what it, the insides of a, of a body look like. Uh, cranberries. Because, look at these cherries, they're nice, but they're too, they're too clean looking. You understand? Yep, that looks more like what the inside of a face would look like. You know? <laughs> Wait, no, this is gross. I shouldn't be using my hands. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, I have a spoon for mixing. <laughs> ah! Oh god, I thought that was a garden snake. These, oh, that, these are just some various berries for sort of like, like a texture, like a gore detail. Oh my god, those are nice. And now this really looks horrible. <laughs> We've done it, look at that, the gore, gross. Blech. Wait, what's the next thing? I don't know, there is no recipe. We're figuring it out. <laughs> I'm just like unironically sitting here eating this. You don't know this because it's edited, but <laughs> I've just been here for like a minute eating this like cereal. <laughs> So bad. Okay, focus. Um, ooh. Well, oh, that's metal. That's metal. Oh, but that's kind of nice because I can't tell what's that and what's my blood from the metal. But that's fine. Okay, next. Look, the gore is done. Now we add it to this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Martha Stewart, you freaking idiot. Look. You can never. You can never. Sorry, Martha. Oh, is that enough? I think it is. Or is it? Oh, God. If I messed up, I need some strawberries, I think. Can openers are can openers are too complicated. God, I'm addicted to it. I love it. Oh, kind of lost myself there for a minute. <laughs> I went to a really weird place mentally. Oh, that tastes like Denny's. Look at that. This is simple. Ah. Okay, that looks really good. We need more cranberries. Yeah. Okay. You know what's nice is the cranberries. They look like scabs. Okay, next part is the crust on top, which I have done a very chef-like thing by making it practically from scratch. You see what I mean? Um, let me just see what I have to do here. I don't have one of those! Look at that, you see? I don't have that. And there's all these different steps and... No, it's talking about folding in eight to ten minutes. Oh. Oh, they just can they have them just, um, uh, 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 pre-made at the grocery store? I'll be right back. Look at that! All ready to go. This is great. Oh, what a world we live in. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Oh, wow! Oh, holy smokes. I can't believe it. Do any, any chefs out there uh, were nervous about their careers? Because they should be. Holy smokes. Oh, 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 I forgot something really fun. Oh, so, uh, I don't have much in terms of kitchen utensils, but I went to this, uh, sort of gothic store close by me and I bought, uh, old used medical equipment that I figured we could make our spooky pie with. Let me go wash it off. Okay, I just washed these off with the, uh, hottest water that I could and, and a little bit of hand soap for at least a minute, so they're fine. They were emanating the most, uh, a strangest smell as I was washing them, but that, they, that, that smell could have been coming from my sink too, so who's to say? Um, but anyone in the vintage uh, embalming and or medical and or dental equipment field. Do you know what these are? Look at it, it's sort of like a little scoop uh, and a presser. Oh yes, but I figured we would use these to, to make our creepy pie. Okay, what does a human face look like? Uh, I'm gonna borrow from the edges. Okay, I'm gonna use the second pie crust because skin is really, really flesh is thick. You understand? Oh, uh, I think we have oil under our skin as people. Oh, God, I'm good at cooking. Okay, um, now, now comes the sculpt. So the ones on the internet have noses, and so let's go ahead and try to make a nose out of our excess crust here. I guess, I mean, I have a nose, can I? Oh, wait a minute, I, I have a nose, so I could just use my own. This is heartbreaking. I wonder if my grandpa is proud of me. That doesn't look anything like a nose, that didn't work. That's pretty good, huh? Oh, you know what? The top isn't tight enough. All right, hang on. Okay, I got this. Oh, let me use the medical equipment to, to... This is what I've seen women do in old TV shows. They press the edges of the pie just like this. Oh my God. Okay, I don't know if you can really tell, but that's looking more like a face than a face already as far as I'm concerned. Okay, next up are the lips. And uh, wait, what's the deal with the lips? Hang on. Ugh. 
But, you know, when bodies, you know, pass away, they swell, right? So that's not too crazy if the lips look a little meaty. That's the grossest thing I've ever said. <laughs> Okay, now now I'm just doing some meaty sort of bags underneath the eyeballs. I'm just basing this on me any day when I wake up past like 2 p.m., which is every day. <laughs> it, it is. Okay, okay. This is crazy. I really didn't think this would work, and I feel like it's working really, really well. Right. My, this is where my real genius comes in. This is probably where I mess everything up. Do you know when marshmallows uh, heat up, they swell? Well, I thought we could put some sort of under the eyes so they swell up a bit, you know? Um, which is, I can't resist having a marshmallow. Oh my God! <laughs> that was so disturbing. I thought that was like black mold or something. I didn't know they were full of chocolate. Wait, this is a really good invention. We can just put it under his eye bags. My marshmallow ambition is gonna be the undoing of this human face pie. I know it, I need to give up while I'm ahead. I mean, not give up. Yeah, actually give up, sorry. Look at this, they sell brushes for like steaks or something, and this is gonna be real fun for us. If I remember correctly from kindergarten, the two colors that make purple, which is what we're going for, to give this person some swollen gross eyes, is blue and yellow, yes. Wait! Yes. Okay. Wait! Oh, I don't know. We'll just figure it out as we go. And we have our little artist easel right here. Isn't that clever? Oh yeah, look at that! Like a freaking shiner. I'm- I don't know if I cut the eyeballs like if I cut the eyes out before they bake, that's a huge gamble. I'm gonna, just gonna do it. I'm gonna take my dagger and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the eyes out. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, this feels like real surgery. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, oh gross, oh gross, oh gross. I'm so sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for cutting your mouth out. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna do a really, really, really light layer of red on the cheeks to kind of give it like a little bit of a fleshy tone again. I don't know if I'm ruining it or if any of these colors are gonna hold up. Oh God, I hope I'm not. Oh, oh, I know. A little bit of blood coming from the nose. Oh, gross. Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever done. I'm an artist, okay? And I'm getting really, in I'm getting very involved. Now I can get, get, do my marshmallow idea. I can shove some marshmallows into, into the eyeballs. Okay, do you see what I'm going for? Does anyone else see my vision here? <laughs> this is so sick. Do you see that it looks like eyeballs? Look. Okay, last thing is I've mixed all the colors to give it like a little burnt edge effect. Dude, if this doesn't work, cause it is true, I don't know what happens like when this bakes. I could throw this in the oven and like everything could just fall off and it just be a horrible disaster. That's not so bad, right? That's not so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go Google how to bake a pie or what to, how long to put it in there or whatever. And then we're gonna see how this turns out. Okay, next time you see me, I'll be with my, I'm sure perfect masterpiece of a, of a human face pie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know pies took this long to bake. 60 minutes. Pies take 60 minutes to bake. Six zero. Do you know how much of the mummy returns I could have been watching by this point? I've just been sitting here though, watching it. <laughs> A human face pie that sort of just looks like a drag queen who got caught in the rain. Hey, all right, but it's my best attempt. Hey, hey. I made a human face pie. Oh. <laughs> oh. I am thrilled about the way this turned out. I wanted to make this so bad, and if I'm being honest with you, I believed in myself, but I also thought I would fail. So <laughs> I'm really, I truly can't believe that this happened for me. Now, is it the best one ever? Is it as good as some of those internet pictures? Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, maybe it's not, but in my heart, it really does feel like it. I love the way this turned out, and um, look at the blood coming from the ice. You know what's interesting is I guess the, the fruit spilled over and it fell into these crevices, which looks disgusting, and it looks like how blood would naturally fall, which was like really beautiful and cool. <laughs> it's weirdly perfect. I'll tell you what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set it up beautifully somewhere as a Halloween decoration until it rots. And then I'll give it to the bugs. <laughs> Look, isn't that revolting? I was gonna do a screw through the head, you know? A little bit of like, ooh, how to die. But you know what? I like the mystery of this. <laughs> this is so revolting. I just got kind of scared looking at it. <laughs> Ew, come back, come back. <laughs> Thanks for doing this with me. Thanks for accomplishing this little dream with me. Shout out to the incredible artist, by the way, who uh, who, who who inspired this this beauty right here with her with her original uh, latex pieces. It's actually not a pie; it's latex. I learned, but ours is most certainly a pie. A pie that might be full of uh, metal shards that would probably kill kill you if you tried to eat it. So I'll chill on that for now. <laughs> but oh, happy Halloween to those who celebrate. I did this to get into the Halloween spirit a little bit. I love October so much. I mean, I would do this sort of thing and will do this sort of thing year round and have been like this my whole life and I'll, I'll never not be this. But also, it is spooky season, as they call it, and I am down. Oh my god, if I've inspired you to make a human face pie, how sick would that be? Seriously, try this, it's really fun. Try this with friends, and if you do, like, tag me on Instagram, or just anywhere, or Twitter, or wherever, I'm this on all of the things. I'm that on literally TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything. Um, yeah, if you try this, let me know. Um, but otherwise, tell me this, please. Tell me in the comments below, what are you going to be for Halloween? I'm sort of entertaining like a cowboy green goblin. It's complicated. What are you gonna be for Halloween? If you're not gonna be something, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do for Halloween? I'm gonna go hang out with my uh, my siblings in Washington and uh, have a real grand time that I might not remember. But um, <laughs> what are you gonna be or do for Halloween? Please tell me. I love being alive. Thanks for being alive here with me on Garrett Unhinged. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ha <laughs> ha!